So, uh, here we are. Um, we will have, let's see, is he here yet? We will have Monty here in a little while. Uh, so we will defer talking about HTTP until then. Um, well, that sort of uh, comes along with server-side baking. Was a question we had for that? Well, it does in in terms of of I mean, there is a relationship in terms of how they're how they're deployed. But um, I think he wants to talk about the oh, there's Monty. You know how the testing okay. has been going. Is Baker coming by today, by any chance? Oh, no. oh Baker is going to get some lovins if he comes by. That that would be nice, but uh, no, I I don't know. Uh, I have not heard from him. Um, so uh, unfortunately, Nix is is out today, so he, he couldn't be here. So I'm left to stand in for him with respect to. Uh, what's going on with server-side baking. So I will do my best not to misrepresent things too badly. Um, so the the current state of things is that we believe that the viewer side of uh, server-side baking is doing quite well in all the testing. Um, it it got through the, uh, the, the pylons uh, pretty well. And my understanding is that the Firestorm version it got similar results to the uh, to to ours um, and had some of the same problems, um, most of which were inventory system related in one way or another. Uh, Worlds has a couple Jira's, um, which I think she's in the process of typing up. Okay. Uh, that would contradict your readiness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, you know, that's valuable. Uh, but um, um, DDB viewer? Oh, uh, she meant service head. Uh, SSB, okay. Um, I'll make sure that uh, <laughs> uh, I'll make sure that people get a look at those as quickly as possible. Uh, oh, oh so, she's not done. <laughs> <laughs> this is really here. She's not done. <laughs> yeah, well, that's why um, that's why we're trying to make some noise because I kind of gathered that um, we're right around the corner. So here's the. Here, here's the situation as as we see it, as of yesterday, before hearing from Worley today. Um, <laughs> uh, the there are no blocking viewer issues at this point, um, <laughs> and hopefully that will, you know, that that will remain true or or be true again real soon. Um, there's another round of there's at least one more round of beta coming any minute now um, from Chewy, from the Chewy project. Um, that's, uh, in fact, I'm, I'm running that viewer even as we speak, just because I didn't want to be harassed about an upgrade during the meeting. Um, so uh, that, that should be appearing, uh, you know, any minute now, basically. Um, that will need the usual at least a week kind of kind of interval and um if that's the last one from chewy then uh the following week we will probably <laughs> right around april 1st haha -ha, uh i was just gonna say yeah uh th that really wasn't intentional uh the plan would be to release the first um sunshine beta um, around that time. Now, that does not mean we're going to switch over the server side, obviously, because we can't 
won't do that until significantly after our viewer has gotten into the release channel. Um, so there will be some amount of time with our server side baking viewer in beta. And as usual, that, that amount of time is not especially predictable. Um, I would be surprised if it was less than two weeks. I would be surprised if it was more than four. Uh, right. So we're, we're talking somewhere in that. Mind you, I've been surprised by these things before. Um, so the, you're suggesting the, three weeks to turning the switch on the server? No, prob probably not. Probably a, a little bit more than that, but, um, but not a lot more than that. So, uh, it, it, so one implication of that is, it is, it is, you know, obviously it's up to you, but it is perfectly fine for you all to begin releasing either in betas or in your release versions, versions that are compatible with server side baking. So Again, the trouble, to be the trouble is for us is that um, if you guys push more uh, newer side changes to server side appearance. Um, and we've already released server-side appearance in Firestorm, then we're sort of stuck with that bug, or we go through, you know, an, it, it's a two-week schedule for us to do a release. Right. I understand. Um, so, and, and, uh, but there isn't any way, um, there isn't any way for us to do to say with any, you know, with absolute confidence that there will be no more viewer side changes. I mean, that's the whole point of a beta test is to find out whether or not you need more viewer side changes, right? So um, at some point after we put it out in a release version and maybe even at some point during the beta version, we may stand up a region or, or the, a, a, some small number of regions on Aditi or sorry, on Agni that are that are server side baking regions. Um, during the beta phase, I, th I think only beta uh, regions will will be uh, you know DD regions will be running server side baking. No, and Ryan, actually, the way we we do our releases is we do a, a code free a feature freeze. Uh, and then we do a code freeze. During the feature freeze, um, we're fixing any last-minute bugs that are blockers. Then uh, when we're at about a week in, we'll do a complete code freeze. We'll build. We'll send it to our beta testers. We'll let it saturate with them for a week. And if it all passes, then we release. More or less, more or less what we mean to do. I mean, yeah, <laughs> It, it well, it doesn't always us. work exactly that well for us either. <laughs> that's the, that's the plan. <laughs> yeah, but basically, the, the whole plan is it, it gives us a week to test and then a week to get all the documentation that we need to change. Well, and change. that's the other thing. Yeah, support needs to do documentation during that time as well, and support needs to prepare for the new release. So for us, pretty much any release schedule is, is a two-week process. If we find issues and bugs, then that may delay that, yeah. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not at the point yet where I can say, you know, this is the date certain on which things are going to happen. Uh, but, you know, we're... We're in the home stretch here. Is, is, we we, is we would love to have like a solid two week notice. That would be ideal for us. From flipping the switch, I mean. Yeah, I. Um, I, I don't really know uh, at this point what the what the timeline is going to be around flip, flipping the switch. What I what I have some visibility into at this point is what the timeline is for getting the the the, the viewer side support out there. Um, to some extent, you know, uptake of our version and yours of the the 
viewers that we, I mean, we would like it to be true that most users have upgraded by the time. At least a uh, week of time to saturate. Yeah. I mean, that well, would be ideal. Actually, sort of I, I three mean, weeks, kind of. We can we can actually just measure, you know, how many users are are on the versions we're interested in. Um, that's, uh, you know, I, I mean, I, I can I can look at the at the statistics system and, and see. So, uh, that's that's something. Uh, I I don't set the threshold, Tonya, and I don't know. So, uh, I mean, it's some. We don't expect that everybody is going to have switched. We we do expect that there's going to be a day on which we disrupt avatar bakes, um, because our experience has been that no matter how proactive we are about trying to, uh, you know, publicize, you really should update, or or bad things will happen. Lots of people don't end up hearing the message, and and. Uh, so uh, <laughs> that's one way of looking at it. <laughs> um, sorry. Yeah. So we'll, you know, we'll we'll see how how that plays out. Uh, I. It, it it is safe to say that we aren't going to be throwing the switch before our next uh, of these meetings two weeks from now. So um, you don't need to worry about that. But you should be pretty quickly getting into the mode of you know f f freezing things and starting your starting your release wheels turning. Um, it it isn't going to be possible to to predict with confidence that we won't make viewer side changes. Um, at the last minute, that, that just isn't that isn't in the cards. So you you may have to do a, a respin quickly with you know having pulled just a couple of changes. Uh, I know that's not comfortable, but there's nothing much we can do about it. Hopefully, it won't happen. We don't you know we don't anticipate it happening, but we we also can't promise that it won't. Uh, The other thing uh, is, and Monty is here. Hello, Monty. Yeah. Um, so there's a little bit of a concern that um, HTTP may not be fully implemented and ready on server when you roll out and flip the switch for red baking, which would be a big problem for the many people who, for one reason or another, cannot run with HTTP. Which leads right into my question. Thank you, Jess. You're so good at that. <laughs> well, what's, anyway. what's your question? And then we'll, we'll segue to talking with Monty about how his HTTP testing is going. Okay. My, my simple question. We have a lot of users who have to turn uh, uh, HTTP get textures off for both performance and aesthetic reasons. Uh, things like uh, textures that never fully res. They'll blur res, blur res, blur res. Um, are they going to have HTTP textures on in order to be able to use server-side baking or not? No, bakes will always be HTTP regardless of the texture setting. The, the, the new server-side appearance textures are only available through HTTP. Okay, it's like they don't, they don't rely on the HTTP get texture setting is, is Correct. the thing that I'm concerned about. And people should actually test and verify that it works as expected. Um, they, the team is aware of that issue. The, our customers and yours and everyone else's have to turn off HTTP textures. I have not been watching over their shoulder to see that that actually works as expected. Okay, so there's a whole new set of tests for us, Worlds. Um, if I remember right from the code, it was hard coded to HTTP. I wasn't looking for the um, setting option. But again, I, you know, it doesn't mean it's working as expected. Oh, 
Well, so I, 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 the question of whether or not, you know, when and whether or not there will ever be a time that, that UDP texture fetching will not be available is not really a question that's on the table at this point. Um, so, so it will be available, UDP. For, for ordinary for texture, textures. For ordinary textures, right, okay. Right, not for avatar based textures, not for the avatar based because they're they're an entirely different in the new scheme. They're an entirely different. They're not going to the the, the same place, right? They're going to a separate service. That service only supports HTTP. Uh, so, Monty, you want to talk a little bit about how the HTTP testing has been going, and then I'd like to hear from any of the viewer devs who've done testing with it to see what how it's been going from their perspective. <clears throat> Not really too much to report. We had uh, a couple of days ago had a panic uh, because the source of baking folks left up an inventory system that didn't quite meet spec. Um, that had nothing to do with the HTTP pipeline itself, but took uh, everyone down. So it should have been fixed uh, two days ago. Everything should be working normally now. Yes, on Aditi. And uh, other than that, I've only had one report. There was a real bug found. Someone testing HTTP in scripting uh, found a real bug. When a uh, caps was revoked, we were no longer training 404. And uh, in fact, we're taking down some Apaches. Uh, I'm trying to get a fix out, but I've been finding our build system for two days. So there will be an update on to Aditi as soon as I can get our build system straightened out and stuff deployed. And I will email all your typical places once that's available. Uh, everything else has been quiet. Uh, I don't really get enough load to do statistical testing, but the regions themselves have been stable uh, other than the problems mentioned. So that's what we're going to say. Expect one update. There will be emails, and uh, there are things to find. The uh, HTTP work had a, almost an entire month of internal QA which found nothing, and it took someone on the outside to find our my uh, find my bug. So please, that's usually the case users. for us. Users are better at finding bugs than anybody's QA department. Yeah, they really are. And the more users you have running something, the more bugs you're going to find. Well, the the real key is to get a you know really major customer who's like a substantial percentage of your revenue base uh, and, and do a demo. That'll break the worst bugs right right there. Yeah, we're going to actually reopen. We have um, a preview group, which we started Firestorm with early on, and it's been, for the most part, closed. We're planning on opening it, um, starting with this release. And, and after uh, our, our release candidate passes QA, we're going to hand it to them as a pre-release. Um, and that way we go out to uh, more hands than just our beta group. We should have done that with the last release, and pink would have been discovered. Pink screen. Yeah, it, uh, the pink screen, it, it's, it's there almost every release. <laughs> uh, pink screen uh, slipped through our QA in the last release, and we didn't find out about it until we actually released it, and uh, suddenly, you know, it's the end of the world. Um, okay, so uh, if you have not been doing testing on Monty's regions, test regions on Aditi, please do so a lot. With HTTP, yes, uh, or without HTTP for that matter, um, but it's the HTTP that's changed. So um, the uh, we 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 want to we want to get that uh, we want to get that as well exercised as we possibly can, so that we can so that when we switch over to it, we we have some confidence it will work. Yeah, there. Even on the 
even on the not angry regions, uh, you know, under under normal production conditions, there may be times when you'll get uh, failures. You'll get, you know, the the server will, for one reason or another, um, not return you a texture that you asked for. That's a perfectly legitimate request, and uh, you the the current angry region will do that. The production regions will, and so they are good for testing your your retries and failure code paths. Um, uh, Monty, are we sending a retry after header? Um, <clears throat> we've never sent retry afters. That's something we're actually starting to look at and think about in general, not just for the um, asset transport system. So we actually don't have a recommendation. Um, <laughs> the generic HTTP best principles and practices uh, excuse. But with the warning that this is subject to change without notice, um, our services throttle approximately on a, a five-second time granularity calculation, um, determining bad behavior, excessive request behavior in five-second deltas. So what I've done inside the LLCOI should be code is a good pattern, the retry logic in there. Uh, it starts at quarter seconds and starts slowly lengthening its retry intervals out to five seconds and uh, eventually gives up after a few of those. Um, again, it, subject to change. Uh, in the future, we may be doing retry afters, and um, that just deals with 503s caused by, for example, our throttling policies. Uh, 503 can certainly come from other, other services in the pipeline, and I can't speak for them. Initial back off is a usually a, a, a pretty good strategy. Um, Pick your pick your starting your, your first retry time and back off to some ceiling after that and have some number of retries at the ceiling to before you just give up and admit that you're never going to get an answer. Um, don't keep going forever. It's you don't just retry as fast as you can. Um, you'll be part of the problem, and if our fairness algorithms are working correctly. Um, they will prevent you from getting a good answer. Wants to discuss the nitty gritty details of doing a, a, a good exponential back off. I'll be glad to do that with you anytime. Um, so I think that's it for that. Uh, materials, I don't really have any any uh, progress to report on. Um, we, we think we're down to one serious bug. We've gotten some more hands, more eyes on it, um, and hopefully we'll get it wrestled to the ground soon. Um, once it's gotten a reasonably good result in QA, uh, we will make the code public. Um, are you guys planning on releasing Chewy and server-side appearance at the same time? Chewy goes first. Chewy will go to release, and then server-side appearance will go to beta. That'll be at least a week apart? Sequentially. Uh, no, probably less than a week. I mean, the hmm. server-side appearance team is... is uh, you know, trying to stay synced up with what Chewy is doing and and regression testing as fast as possible, so that they'll be ready to get into beta as soon as Chewy is out of the way. I mean, I mean, it could be you know the next day, could be the same day. Okay. Um, um, The uh, so you know we, we hope to have materials code for you to see pretty soon. It is 
going to be behind all this other stuff uh, in terms of integration order, um, and possibly there will be something in between super side appearance and and materials. We don't. That's to be determined at this point. We're not pretending we can plan accurately that far in advance. Is that something uh, we know about, or is that um, just, something be super a, secret? Just a maintenance release, probably. Oh, okay. Um, you know, there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of bug fixing that's been going on 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 uh, you know the maintenance branches and. Uh, They've been stuck behind Chewy and server side appearance, just like us. Um, one of those things is the FMOD EX upgrade. Which stream that will end up going into is TBD, but um, that's hanging out there, as is the Cocoa changes for the Mac. So lots of stuff out there, and they will arrive in some order all after server-side appearance. Possibly some of them will be combined. I don't know. So basically there's, what there's, you're saying... Basically, what you're, basically what you're saying, Oz, is that uh, our devs are going to have to get this release out and then start working on the next release right away? Well, I mean, some of that stuff might not be urgent for you. Um, uh, yes, we believe the, the FMOD EX does fix the Mac unplugging headphones crash, which means I will be arguing for getting it in as early as possible because that crash really bugs me. Um, it is, uh, apparently it is our highest crash in Firestorm. When you take in all the different things that cause crashing, uh, according to our crash stats, it is the worst crash that we have. And it's on a minority of users when you consider it's Mac. It's crazy. Well, we've uh, our our stats show that most of our users have moved to either Lion or Mountain Lion at this point. So the the. Uh, the 10.6 count is, is pretty far down. 10.5 is now almost invisible. Well, it's, it's, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it, it's a bug that happens every time that you do it, and um, it's pretty easy to, to connect and disconnect USB devices uh, otherwise. Uh, I, I occasionally have to power cycle mine because my USB keyboard sometimes gets into a weird state that requires reset. Uh, and, and if I forget and do that when I've got a viewer open, the viewer crashes because headphones connected through the hub. Right, yes. Bluetooth is even easier. Oh, other, uh, so lots of stuff in the pipeline, but you should be focusing on the HTTP testing and getting your server-side baking code ready to or into your release channel. I, th I believe Ed had uh, something he wanted to bring up. Sure. Well, well, sort of, sort of brought it up already earlier, but um, I just want to know: is this is this the point in the meeting when we everybody starts chanting, "We want Baker, we want Baker"? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Oz noticed. Uh, Baker recently assigned himself to a, a very special Jira, which is very close to our hearts. There it is. Which one? That. Oh yeah, right. So he, yes, he has, so, he sorry, Monty, um, we still love you, but Baker has become our, our next favorite, Lyndon. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Oz, we still like you, too. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he sounds disappointed. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm 
<laughs> perfectly happy to share the limelight with uh, with, with good good stuff. <laughs> But so yeah, anyways, that's uh, that sort of made um, it certainly made supports day to see uh, that assignment. So uh, what's the ETA on that? Two weeks, yeah, three weeks. <laughs> that's why we want Baker here. Yes, yeah. jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kata. Um, it, it'll allow us to keep the uh, the groups open to join and open for anybody to chat, but still be able to get rid of the. Uh, uh, spammers and special users. One, one particular user that we have in in the French group. Um, all our groups are PG, obviously, open chat, free to join. And this one comes in and uh, posts quite obscene material. Put it that way. Okay. Well, I'm. I'm watching the the two issues involved there, so and I will I will keep an ear out for for developments on that. And uh, and Iran, from what I I'll tell uh, Baker to come and get some love next time. Oh, he'll get some love and cool. oh yeah. Uh, Naran, uh, Chewy, even if you don't want any of the interface changes, has a lot of code refactoring involved in it, which if you're going to stay V3, you're probably going to need in the future. Yes, that has bitten one of uh, Jonathan this Yap's is, projects as well. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're basically having to go back and start over on, on a bunch of the UI. Uh, It's uh, Chewy is going to be a, a big problem for us to Naran. I want to be rich. Yeah, how about that lottery? Anyone? Yes, Latif. It's the, the I was referring to the request teleport uh, feature uh, that, that Jonathan worked on. So it's, it's a very nice little feature. Um, it's server side for it is deployed, but it's uh, the the user interface for it is completely. Monty, we'll give you lots of love and trust me. We got enough people on our team to give love to all the Lindens, I think. Eighteen thirty eight. Um I I believe there are viewer side changes for the new particle system parameters. Um, I don't know where they are in the release process. Well, it seems to me that some of it is in the uh, scripting. So. Well, yeah, there's there's that. We'd have to add the functions, but. A hey, good job, by the way. That's that's cool stuff. It, Kudos, the Yeah, I haven't I haven't actually. Uh, tested it yet, but um, looks like fun. Um, kind of, you know, if you want to, if you want to discuss, you know, additional server-side messaging stuff, write up a proposal for what the feature is and what why you need a message and send it to me oh uh, I actually you know I did the server side support for for uh, 1838 so I'm dangerous now I can I can make changes on that side Well, I, I think I'm not going to answer a general question about whether or not there are any IDs free. I will 
deal with specifics. Any other uh, <laughs> any other topics? Uh, just the same old one. Where's Baker? We want Baker. Yeah, we definitely need Baker for the next um, next meeting. <laughs> Will chat lag be fixed? <laughs> that I'm definitely not going anywhere near. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mr. has a legitimate question, I think. Change in interest list require viewer changes. If I remember right, um, they mentioned that non-cache objects were just objects that hadn't updated within a minute. Or had updated within a minute. So if it has not updated within a minute, it's considered cached or cacheable. But it shouldn't require any viewer changes. The interest list changes, by the way, have been um, interesting. Good choice of words, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a that's a spectacularly hard problem the fact that yeah they're working on it they're willing to work on it at all is is uh, I, I think just uh, a testimony to their bravery actually we had a, a q a recently that um, interest list changes came up and and i did not diss you guys for not perfectly succeeding with interest list. i understand it's absolutely mental well, like anything else, kudos I mean, for the, trying. Yeah, the uh, like anything else, the the complexity of the testing problem in Second Life is is just you know unfathomable, really. Um, put together a test. Oh, speaking of Baker, just you just came to mind. Real life. Pinged him in IRC, and he's on his way. Oh, Yay. cool. Somebody, we're going to have to write a, a song for Baker. Just, just for Baker. But, uh, yeah, the server side, or um, interest list seems to be a similar problem as HTTP has been, and a similar problem as, as avatar baking has been. In, in complexity, and it almost seems to me that it's kind of needs a whole rewrite from scratch, like what you guys have done. Baker! We love hey, you, Baker. Baker. We saw what you did there. Or what you intend to do. What, in the viewer Jira? Yeah, the yeah. Uh, group thing. Yeah, we love you. We all wanted you here just to tell you we love you. No, that's not true, that's Jeff. Oh, we also want to know when. <laughs> Next week? Two uh, weeks? Yeah. When's it going to be ready, and how far along are you? Tomorrow. Not far and a while, in reverse <laughs> order of the questions you asked. Darn. <laughs> no, I, I was going to work on it more this week, but I ended up having a... Uh, I, I changed uh, some real quick just for development purposes for sim states, and there was a little bit of a problem, so I had a change so i had to kind of work on that this week but i'm going to start working on more of the development and just planning and writing the document for group band stuff right now so i can actually get it prepared before i start working on it that way things don't wear the one line pack. <laughs> yeah um it will be using 
Uh, most likely it will be using a capability uh, to hit one of our other, to hit our simulator. Um, and so that'll, when I start getting it working, I'll make sure to come back in here. That way I can tell y'all what it's, how it's going to look so you can add that to your viewers. Oh, well, we're going to be asking about it um, at every third part of your meeting from this point on, so <laughs> just saying. Yeah, I, figured. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean, sorry, I had one question, one big question for Oz today, and that is, is this time to start chanting, we want Baker? But, uh, so, yeah, needless to say, it's a, that's a pretty big value item for the users of Second Life. Yeah, ideally what I want uh, to do is to be able to have it at least on first release, just have be able to just ban people, and it'll show who it is and the date that you ban them. I'd like to also add a reason field, if possible, even if it's just pre pre-made ones that you know five ones that I come up with or whatever. Um, and then if so, that way it's a stored as a you know an integer rather than a string. Yeah, basically things like that. Um, and then. I'd like to think about making timed bans. I don't know how useful that would be, but like, you know, ban from the group for two weeks or whatever, and then it goes, then they go off your ban list or whatever. But that would be a future. That wouldn't be on the first release for, for sure. That would be useful for a uh, region banding as well. Yeah, I'm not planning on adding any of this to the region or parcel stuff, um, only because. I'm making a new entry in the database for the group stuff. I and I'm not sure. We'll have to see how the user, how the group ban list works before. I was just going to say, would it be possible to, to um, would it be possible to share that database, the the reasons aspect of that database with a land group in? I think it would be a lot more hassle than it's. I mean, Easier said than done. Yeah. I don't want to say not worth it because it's obviously worth it for you guys, but um, it seems like it would be a, a big hassle. I mean, I already have to make a new table in the database just for this band stuff, and we would probably have to create a table that would be like user region or user um, parcel and then reason, and it's kind of like we'd be duplicating data again just because our entries or the databases are slightly insanely huge. <laughs> I kind of gathered that. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's fantastic. And uh, it seems to me that you, you've got it worked out. You know what needs to be done. Yeah, the pic that you showed on the Jira um, would be ideal. But uh, just the ability to ban someone from joining a group alone would uh, be of great use to us. Yeah, I, uh, I'm hoping to, to make something similar to that. I think we have a rough sketch up of what we want it to look like or whatever. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm also not really concerned about that yet. I got to figure out what I got to add in there before I figure out how it's going to look. Well, I want to thank you again, and um, some of the other Lindens might get jealous at the amount of love you're going to get from our team. Just I so appreciate you know. it, and you're very welcome. Anything I can do to make things easier for you guys? Or yeah, like other people <clears throat> that aren't here? Hey, hush. Baker's got busy <laughs> things to deal with. Forget about chat lag right now, okay? <laughs> Right. Well, I will. Uh, I will make sure that we we uh, we we track how things are going with with Baker's 
project. I've added it Keep to everybody the, the agenda. So uh, it'll be on the standing topics list until. What, you don't want all of us standing around chanting, we want Baker, we want Baker? <laughs> I'm, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Old picket signs. <laughs> Okay, I don't think we have any more topics. All right. Uh, I will see you in two weeks. Thank you, folks. Have a great weekend. Take care, everybody. Thanks, Oz. Oh, Appreciate the Baker. has a question. does not have to do anything for appearance to work on login um, I, th I think that's correct right you should just get an appearance message that's based on whatever your current object folder had in it when you logged in current outfit folder excuse me Yeah. So go go do some go do some uh, testing on HTTP regions and the bank regions. There's actually some very cool stuff in Chewy. And I'll catch you later, folks. I'm out of here. Take care.